Northwest Nigeria is under the siege of banditry that resulted from the Fulani and Hausa ethnic group conflicts. As a result of this conflict, criminals and jihadist elements formed in the region, killing and causing unimaginable horror in Nigeria. These killings have been referred to as the worst killings in the region since the Nigerian Civil War. But did these killings start unexpectedly or were there signs that we are ignored? Let's talk about how banditry became a business in Nigeria. There was always a vicious conflict between the Fulani herders and the Hausa farmers. The farmers and herders always fought over the limited lands and water in the region. Then factors such as unemployment, high level of poverty and a weak local government also made people desperate enough to turn into criminals to earn a living. The North also has large forest areas that have allowed the formation of deeply concealed camps in this forest. The poor technological infrastructure of the Nigerian police and military made it impossible to reach these deep forest areas. All these factors made it possible for these bandits and terrorists to thrive in the northwest regions of Nigeria. Weapon smuggling gave those criminals access to weapons that helped them carry out their nefarious activities. Illegal arms deals are often done in northwest Nigeria. Bandits and gangs control gold mines and trade the gold for arms from internal and international arms dealers. In 2020, SBM Intelligence estimated that over 6 million small and light weapons were in circulation in Nigeria, especially in the Northwest. These are weapons in the hands of non-civilian state actors. This development is particularly worrying because the border of Northern Nigeria remains undefended. Only about 1,950 police officers guard the borders. As a result, cross-border smuggling of weapons has become so easy. The government has also been soft in dealing with these bandits. As a result, they grew and multiplied in numbers. As they grew, so did their notorious activities. During the Jonathan administration, Nigerians incumbent President Mohamed Buhari made a call that made it to the front pages of newspapers. It read, Insecurity, Buhari asks Jonathan, to resign. He believed that good luck Jonathan did not have what it took to end insecurity in Nigeria. Bari also made it part of his campaign promises to end the insecurity in Nigeria. He had military experience so it was easy for him to sell the idea and millions of Nigerians bought it. Seven years later, Nigeria is faced with its worst security crisis since independence. These bandits not only kill, rape and rob innocent citizens, they kidnap citizens too and demand ransoms. These bandits ride into towns and villages on motorcycles to loot and kidnap anyone they see. They demand ransom from individuals who we are also willing to pay to secure the freedom of their loved ones. Then they started demanding from the government. The Buhari administration has been accused of paying ransoms to bandits. An allegation it denies. Last year, the Nigerian Air Force was accused of paying 20 million naira to bandits to secure the release of an anti-aircraft gun seized from the Nigerian army. The government strenuously denied making such payments. Payouts by victims' family provide the needed cash for these criminals to buy more weapons and recruit more criminals. In Nigeria today, kidnapping is a major source of income for these criminals that government has not designated as terrorists. The International Center for Investigative Reporting estimates that over 1 billion naira was spent on ransoms in 2021 alone. The real figure though might be much higher. Many believed the unofficial policy of negotiating with terrorists have backfired on Nigeria in a devastating fashion. These unwise decisions have led to the countless deaths of thousands of Nigerians including women and children. The unspoken truth is that the Buhari administration is ignorant of how to destroy the monster it created. Nigerians are now calling for his resignation just as he did for Good Luck Jonathan. 
Nigerians are certainly tired of hearing excuses of the countless marching orders given to the army. All they want to see is results. I shall you be finished with